friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Dr. Henry Winkler tells the fascinating story of how his family escaped Germany during World War II. Dr. Henry Winkler shared some interesting family history, recalling how his father managed to help his family escape the Holocaust. Life can be rather unpleasant at times. Difficult circumstances will inevitably find their way to everyone. However, most will never encounter anything like the Holocaust in Nazi-occupied Germany. Dr. Henry Winkler best known as Arthur Fonzi Fonzarelli on Happy Days, talked about his father leaving Nazi-occupied Germany. During the interview, Henry mentioned how his father avoided experiencing the wrath and torment of Nazi soldiers in Berlin, Germany. He pointed out that both of his parents had obtained a six-week work visa for the United States. However, before leaving, his father concocted an ingenious plan to help himself in America and to go undetected by the suspicious Nazi soldiers. My father asked his mother for jewelry, Henry said, and he bought a box of chocolate, melted chocolate down, and covered all of the pieces of jewelry in chocolate, put it in the box, put the box under his arm. Henry said his father came up with this course of action because he anticipated a question from the Nazis. So that when the Nazis said, are you taking anything of value out of Germany? He said, no, check our bags, check us. Nothing, Henry said. After arriving in America, Henry stated that his father used the money from pawning the jewelry to help him start a new life in New York City. However, Henry adds that the story does not end there. Eventually, started a lumber business and was able to buy the jewelry back, Henry said. And I have a pocket watch from my great-grandfather that was smuggled out of Germany, encased in chocolate. Still works. Just an amazing thing to have to pass down from generation to generation. Wow. In the interview, near the end of a three-minute clip, Henry also brings up how and why one potted plant has come to mean so much to him and his family. Jeremiah 2911. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus, and we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. Traveling to the Holy Land will be one of the most amazing trips of your life. Walking the same steps that Jesus did is an overwhelming and powerful experience that you will never forget. It's time to go visit the birthplace of the Bible. For more information, go to holyland.israel.travel. Israel, exactly like nowhere else. Christian movie Jesus Revolution's box office numbers are incredible, passing $40 million. Written by Mel Johnson, read by Adam State. The Christian movie Jesus Revolution's box office numbers have absolutely astounded the industry. After just a few weeks, the film surpassed $40 million, becoming the highest grossing film for its studio, Lionsgate, since 2019. God is definitely on the move. The faith-based movie Jesus Revolution tells a story involving three men, Chuck Smith, played by Kelsey Grammer, Lonnie Frisbee, 
played by Jonathan Rumi, and Greg Laurie, played by Joel Courtney. It's about a hippie-led revival in the 1960s, 70s, that spiraled into countless ministries. It's about faith. It's about hope and redemption and finding your identity in God, said Christian celebrity Jonathan Rumi. It's a great human conundrum. It's a great question we all ask ourselves. What am I doing? Why am I here? What is my purpose? And every generation has that and gets distracted from God. When people come to to the realization that God is their identity, God is behind their identity, everything falls into place. The film hit theaters in late February 2023 and instantly attracted audiences like wildfire. Within its first two weekends, the movie Jesus Revolution finished in the top five at the box office. Even on a Monday, a couple of weeks after its release, the film grossed $615,000, an impressive number for an off night. And this brought Jesus Revolution to more than $40 million gross domestically, which ranks number one among all post-pandemic movies by Lionsgate. The numbers are incredible, especially out of a pandemic, explained producer Kevin Downs. Indeed, the successful box office numbers for the Christian movie send a pretty strong message. Kevin suggests that by coming out in droves, the faith audience is making a statement. They're not going away, he said. Traditionally, faith-based movies haven't been seen as box office hits, but that's something that has been changing in recent years. And the Jesus Revolution box office numbers only further support the fact that there is a desire for these types of uplifting, Christ-centered stories. The world certainly needs to hear the good news. May movies like these continue to bring the Word of God to the masses. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production. What happens when a writer and former history teacher goes toe-to-toe with his best friend, a nationally touring stand-up comedian? Total carnage, that's what. Two men enter, and two men leave, because that's how it works. (laughs) Actually, you get hilarious, real, and insightful conversations about life, history, culture, faith, and everything in between. Join me, comedian Johnny W., and my pal, author and speaker John Driver for Talk About That at lifeaudio.com or wherever you get your podcasts.